Hey, my name is Nick Alonzo. I'm a solutions engineer at Kinetica on the Emerging Analytics team. And for this project, we partnered with the San Francisco Estuary Institute in order to highlight the great environmental work they're doing in the Bay Area, as well as showcase Kinetica's capability of operationalizing traditional data science workflows in an enterprise grade production environment. We also perform benchmark testing that illustrates the processing power of the GPU as you scale and showed our compatibility with Oracle Cloud infrastructure. So for a quick background, SFEI came to us with a TensorFlow deep learning model that detects trash in aerial images of the bay from a drone. And like many organizations today, they were faced with the challenge of actually operationalizing their model at scale. And that's where Connecticut comes in. So using our black box SDK, we were able to containerize this model and publish it to Docker, and then embed that model in our active analytics workbench. So here you can see our active analytics workbench. We go ahead and point to that URL where the pre-trained containerized model resides. And then we give the input columns that are going to be used. So this is just a standard input image from the drone and then the expected output of the model. So that's an output image with the bounding boxes that are detecting trash. And then we're recording also the total number of detections in each image. So we can go ahead and create this model. And then we have the ability to deploy this model in either an on-demand, continuous, or batch mode. So that's just an example of a push button automated Kubernetes deployment and orchestration. Uh, so for this project, we actually deployed this in continuous mode and wanted to showcase streaming analytics. So using our Python API, we actually streamed these images into a table in Kinetica and then had that model inference against that table as new images hit it. And those images can be rendered here in our BI tools that we call reveal. And you can see here when that inference was started, when it finished, uh, you can see the input image. So this is an example of a typical aerial image from the drone. And then you'll see the output image with the bounding boxes detecting the trash in these images. Along with this, we performed the benchmark testing. So this initial deployment was run on distributed CPU, pretty stand standard machine, four cores that took roughly about 10 days. We then shifted to a single GPU on a K80, and that brought the inference time down to five days. And finally, we then ran this entire workload on Oracle Cloud infrastructure on an eight GPU machine using V100s. And this significantly improved performance. And you can see here that now we're not talking about days, but now we executed this inference in 18 hours and 26 minutes. And that's on 30,000 images, roughly a little over 30,000 images. So you can imagine as you scale in images, uh, the GPU becomes critical here in churning through that image set. So it's a really cool concept if you think about it. SFEI wants to deploy this model, have drones go out and take images of the Bay Area, detect and identify trash in these images, and then send out teams to go clean it up. It's a really cool example of an awesome environmental project paired with a technology that's going to enable this kind of workload at scale.